When I first met Tina, I was getting my hair cut and she was cutting the guy's hair and sitting next to me. And I said, I somehow need to figure out a way to go out with this girl. It wasn't supposed to be a date. And then we just liked each other so much that it was a date. We went for a walk in the rain one night and just got soaked, but neither one of us cared. We just wanted to be alone. I just counted the hours till we were together all the time. The kids were born. I just, I, I felt like I had lost my wife. And our home just became very toxic and that was all I focused on was how angry and depressed I was and I wanted a way out. I started working a lot more to stay away from the house. There was a lot of tension at home. But then when I was at work, I missed home. So it was, I was really, really confused. Either we were fighting and yelling at each other or we would go for, I'd like to say days, but it, sometimes it was weeks in silence because we didn't want to fight. Um, I became very critical and I was smoking a lot of pot. And I could only see leaving. That was my only solution was to leave. Then everything came spiraling down. A good friend of ours recognized that we were suffering and encouraged us to go to Retrovi. I kind of felt done, like I didn't have the energy anymore to do, but I was going to give it this one last shot. I felt like um, our snuffed out flame was reignited and it felt really safe to be able to express my feelings knowing that they weren't right or wrong, that they were simply my feelings. God used this program to, he changed my heart and he changed my life. Our kids are so excited that we are in this Retrovive program because they know that, that this program saved their parents' marriage and they're just so happy that their mom and, and mom and dad are both at home.